we got Bob Whitemore here. Colorado women have done it. National champions. I mean, did you think they could go as low as they did today? Yes. You did? I did. What Was that the projection? Like, did you have it on paper mapped out? No, don't map it out on paper. We map it out in our hearts. Do you, do you want to get up there? Or no. You're okay? You don't usually do the podium thing, do you? No, I let them do the podium thing. Why is that? Yeah, it's their time. It's their time. Did you guys do anything specific to prepare for the cold today? Or for the snow on the course? No, I don't think so. Everybody had long spikes on and nothing special. And why, So why is it, I mean, you look back at some of your men's teams that have won, I think, uh, in Terre Haute, you know, six, so it was very muddy. You guys came out on top today. You guys won. I mean, is there something about the way they prepare or about Boulder or something like that that really gives you guys an advantage, you think? Well, maybe the way they prepare, yes. Uh, in the, We've won it on bad days from behind sweeping up and people said oh we took advantage of the conditions if you saw today our women were high in the race at two kilometers our men were high in the race in two kilometers every day is different every race is different every team is different and what, did you, what was the instructions to the women's team for this race how did you want them to run we wanted them to believe in themselves trust yourselves don't worry about anybody else run the big blob don't run any one team was there anything like, hey, really hit it? I mean, obviously you wanted to hit it hard to hook the last 2K, but McKenna Morley, she was like, look, you want to get to make sure you get to 4K feeling good and then moving. Is that something that you try to tell them? Or? We don't give a team-wide set of instructions. Every runner's different. We actually tell them, be selfish. Yeah. So what did you tell Danny today? I told her you can win this race. Yeah. And do you think, were you hoping it would be the way it was, like her being close and sort of kicking it down? Were you worried when Kaladi broke, that, broke it open a little bit? Well, I saw them at five kilometers, and Kaladi had made a move, and Danny was with a group of other people, but I saw her eyes were on on the target, and uh, I thought, she's coming. Mm -hmm. And were you, I mean, the regional meet, obviously, in New Mexico, they got you guys a little bit last week, but did you really care about the result? Like no, that nor do they. Nobody's trying hard in the regionals if they can get away with going easily. I know lots of teams have to run their hearts out there, but... Uh, New Mexico didn't have to, and Colorado didn't have to, and NAU men and BYU men didn't have to, yeah. and uh, yeah, we're trying to run that race as carefully and patiently as possible to be ready here. What about Pac-12s? Because Oregon got you pretty bad at that meet. Were you worried at all? What were you thinking after that one? The Oregon team that won the Pac-12 was the team that we knew was coming. Yeah. And earlier in the year, uh, they were still coalescing as a team, new coach, some new athletes. So. We expected the Oregon team at the Pac-12, and uh, we expected the same team here today. Yeah, but I mean, getting beat, did you worry, like, with the margin, that it was probably 16 points, something like that, did you worry at all about your team? No. Why not? No point in worrying, it doesn't help. And the men, you, you had a bunch of guys up at the front in the men's race, did you tell them to do that? Is that something they did on their own? No, that's totally up to them. Mm -hmm. And, did, I mean, how do you feel for Danny? This is a woman who's been in your program. She's won national championships. Now she's up really with the legends in, your, in the Colorado history. I agree with you. Uh, we, we knew that she had trained very well. We knew that she's uh, if evolving, developing as a cross-country runner. And we knew that if there was, if she was in it with 500 to go, she'd be hard to beat. And what's different? This Two years ago, you were very favored to win this meet. This year, you know, but it didn't go well for you guys. You got third. This year, you come out, you crush it, even though you're a little, you know, you may be ranked second behind at New Mexico. What was different this year? Different runners, different day. Yeah. Different conditions. All right. I'll, okay. Yeah, appreciate it.